Okay, welcome back to Chapter 4. Uh, this is C3X4 continued. We did the tester already. Now in Chapter 4, what was new was this input method using scanner. We talked about that last time. Um, also, we did a lot about bits and bytes and overflow and integers and, and doubles and, and base 16 and base 2 and all that stuff. But what's new now is using finals and using static class like math, math using math.pow, math.squirt, stuff like that. So let's implement the cone class. Here we go. Open this up. And let's start. This is going to be uh, cone.java, finding the surface area of a cone, the lateral surface area, and the volume of the cone. And this is me, and this is uh, what is today, the 13th. All right. I'm using Java Doc here only to make it stand out of my projector, which is dying. Don't really need Java Doc there, but that's okay. Uh, public class cone. Let's start the constructor. Okay. Now remember how we did that. The constructor takes two uh, input parameters, two arguments, radius and height. Okay. So let's write that. Public cone. And let's allow for doubles for input. Okay, so double um, R, the R, and double the H. How about that? To distinguish this from uh, the uh, instance fields. I'll call them my R and my H. So here we go. Initialize my R to the R, and my H to the H. And so we need some instance fields. Okay, so double my r. Uh, right, sorry, this is private. So private double my r. And private double uh, my h. Okay. This recorder is slowing down my keyboard, so it's, I'm messing up typing a little bit. Okay, let's do the volume. Public, now return to double, so public double, get volume. Remember how we wrote get volume? Okay, it's just an accessor. <clears throat> and so what's the volume of a cone? Pi r squared, uh, one third pi r squared h, right? So let's write it this way. I can use math.py, but I'm going to write my own uh, final just for fun. I'm going to call it pi, and it's going to return pi times, um, let's see, r squared h divided by 3. Okay, so how about math.pow? There's a static class math. You don't have to construct a math object. Just name the math class. It's the static class pow. That's how you use it. And uh, whoops, and I'm going to square my r, so my r comma two. And then we're gonna multiply that by the height, my h. And don't forget it's one third. That because it's not a cylinder, it's a cone. Okay, so I have to make a uh, a final. Let's put it up here. Now remember, uh, in the whoops, in the uh, math class, there's a static final for pi. It goes uh, public, static, whoops, static so you don't have to construct an object to use it, public so you can use it in other classes, final, double. By the way, math is automatically imported like string because it's in java.lang, so you don't have to import math. Um, and it was something like pi equals some enormous list for pi, three point one four one five nine two six five something. I don't know. It keeps on going. All right, that's what it looks like in the math class. But I'm going to make my own, and it's not going to use it anywhere but in this class. I'm going to make it private instead of uh, public. Uh, I don't have to make it static. It's part of this object. It is a final. Final is like a uh, constant in other languages, but you don't have to initialize it right away. But once you initialize it. It's constant. It doesn't change. So it's finalized. Double. I'm going to call it pi. 
and um, I don't know, 3.14159 is good enough. Okay? There you go. Okay, so that's my pi. Unless I want to use math.pi, I could do that, and, and it's a lot more digits. So there you go. And what about the surface area? Okay, the surface area goes like this. Now remember how we did this in the test? We called it get SA. No input parameters, right? Just returning stuff. So public double get SA Let's make some room down here. Bring this up a little bit. And what are we going to do? We're going to return how does it go? I think it's pi r and then the square root of the hypotenuse so the right triangle you get when you slice the cylinder right through the middle. Yeah, you get an isosceles triangle, but if half of it is a right triangle. So what's the hypotenuse? If the base is r and the height is h, it's the square root of r squared plus h squared, right? So here we go. I'm going to use my pi times my r times math and remember it's a class, so proper case, dot squirt for square root of math dot pow of my r comma two plus, this is just Pythagoras, right? Math dot pow of my h comma two. Close the pow, close the squirt. And that's it. Boom, done. Okay, let's see if we can test this quick. Um, let's try it in here. I'm going to throw it on a terminal. Move this up a little bit. i got to shush into my server. There you go. i got a CD into 2000. Uh, sorry. APCS 2009-2010 period 7. Yes. And then I'm going to CD into chapter 4. And then I'm going to CD into C4X3. And then I got the code I just wrote. There it is. So let's Java C the tester, which will automatically Java C the other, the class file, the derived class, if it's in the same directory. And we're constructing uh, objects of that class. There you go, no errors. Let's run it with Java. Yeah, I'm on Java. See, this recorder is slowing me down a little bit on my keyboard. But there you go. All right, so if I enter, I think my test data was uh, 1 for the radius and 5 for the height. You get 5.23 cubic inches and 16.01 square inches. Uh, or was it, I think in class we might have done it this way. Uh, no, that, no, this is what we got. That's right. We did it that way. So that tests out. That's correct. All right, so that's just an example of using math, the math class, the static math class, and using finals, and using the scanner class, and all that fun of stuff. I think I would probably change this a little bit. I'd probably do maybe a print here, and a print here so the input stays on one line. Let's try that. Where were we? Here. All right, so let me clear this. Let me Java C again. Let's Java again. Where's my Java? And let's say a 1 and a 5. See how the input stays in one line with the prompt, enter the radius, and the 1's on the same line, enter the height, and the 1 and the 5 is on the same line. And since I'm asking, I'm prompting the user to input it inches, I know that the volume is in cubic inches and the surface area is in square inches. I might space this out a little bit. Let's see, let's space that out. Put a little space there, a little space there. Save that, just clean up the output a little bit. It's no big deal. Java C it again. Java it again. Plug in one inch for the radius, five inches for the height, and you get 5.2 cubic inches roughly for the volume and 16.01 square inches roughly for the surface area, and that's correct. All right, YouTube, thanks a lot. See you later. Bye-bye.